everyone, this is Erin McCourt uh, from Beacon Hill Legal in Boston. Um, I want to start off by saying I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, um, enjoying the start of summer, and finding um, our web series um, helpful as we navigate you know, the uncertainty of the coming months while we're working from home. Today I'm going to discuss um, how to stay engaged while working from home. I have um, three tips for you, some of which um, have already been discussed in uh, prior videos, but you know they ring true and, and they're effective. So um, I'm going to start um, with tip number one. So the first tip um, for staying engaged while working from home is to maintain a schedule. Um, so whether that be, you know, waking up and creating a schedule or doing so the night before, you're going to find that you really maximize your time. If you have, you know, some idea of the tasks that you want to accomplish throughout the day, um, you know, this is going to look different, um, for, um, everyone, because if you're someone who is pretty structured anyways, you know, you might just need, um, an hour by hour or, um, you know, a list of things that you know um, you want um, to complete throughout the day. Um, if you're someone who's easily distracted um, and needs a little more uh, structure, I you know suggest um, you know as complete as something you know 15 minute intervals, um, including breaks, lunch, um, you know start and end time. Um, that's really going to hold you accountable. It's going to ensure that. Um, you know, you're, um, you know, staying focused throughout the day when there are so many distractions while working from home. So, um, you know, I, I don't think we should ever undervalue the importance of having some type of schedule um, throughout the day. So that is tip number one for staying engaged while working from home. Tip number two is to create a working space. So, um, again, this is going to look different. Um, I live in a 600 square foot apartment, so there's not a whole lot of room um, to create a space. That being said, I do, um, you know, designate a particular area of the apartment um, in which when I sit down in the morning, it engages my mind and kind of sends a signal that it's, it's time to get to work. Um, and really distinguishes between uh, my personal time and then my work time. So if you have an office in your house, that's ideal. Otherwise, create a makeshift one. Um, something as simple as, you know, a, a chair that um, will, as I said, send a signal um, that you're ready um, to start work for the day. And, um, you know, it also sends, um, you know, a signal to those you live with, whether that be roommates, kids, spouse, that you're honed in for the day, you've started work, you're focused, and, um, you know, they're less likely um, to be that added um, additional distraction. So tip number three for staying engaged while working from home is to disengage uh, when necessary. So what I mean by that is it's so easy to have our laptops open and never really have an end to the work. Um, you know, if you're usually in the office, you log off, you commute home, and that kind of provides, um, you know, a built-in completion time for work um, in which you can go home and you can spend time with your family or you know um, go to the gym or do whatever it is in your personal you know free time that you really value um, that's chipped away a little bit when you're working from home just because you don't have that um, you know that time just to unwind and to really you know tell yourself that, um, you know, you deserve a break after a long work day. So um, as, as important as it is to stay engaged throughout the day, it's equally as important to disengage at night and at weekends to the extent you can. Um, and, you know, give yourself some leeway to, you know, <laughs> enjoy the things that we can these days. So those are my three tips for staying engaged while working from home. I wish you 
all the best. Um, I hope that you find value in these videos and we at Beacon Hill are here. We're listening and um, feel free to reach out if you need anything.